Stop gone. Retreat across him. And wasn't quite sure where the ball was until it was too late. Today I have grabbed Kimal Savory. Kimal, how are you doing today? I'm great. I'm great, brother. All right, good. So I don't want to start on the cricket, and this is because of your teammates now. So I grabbed Kevlon and I said, Kevlon, what was the latest song that Kimal has sung? Oh, on the feeling. Tell me there was something to do with cartoons. What cartoon song you were out there singing, Kimo? Um, basically, I was just um listening to Kevlon, hmm. but I'm not a cartoon guy, being honest. Um, but for now, I just forgot it. <laughs> he said it was like da na na some na 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 na. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Basically, it was just troubling. Um, like just trying to take away some concentration from Jason because. Hmm. Apparently, we, we thought he was concentrating very well. So just trying to get some jokes in between so you could like, you know, do some sort of concentration. No problem. So I, I can want to, I guess, understand like what feeling do you get when you get out there? Because obviously like, your teammates view you as the very fun, like person that injects all of the energy onto the field. What feeling do you get walking out onto a cricket field? Um, well, we all know that as a wicket keeper, you know, you have to keep the guys going. Mm. So uh, my job is pretty easy. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy that with energy. So as long as I go there and I give the guys that energy, you know, they, they connect with it and we get it on going. Yeah, so last season, last first class season would have been your first year, you know, at that level. And I was watching back and then if you, you did just before, you would have, you know, been picked and gotten into the squad. You say, no, the hard work now begins for you what did you learn during your first class season last year um well basically last year was my fourth year as you said um the cricket is, is very intense different from club cricket um you don't really get that much bad balls at this level so i think the main thing at this level is patience as long as you could have a fight crease for a longer period and with picking up your singles and so on it get much easier. Yeah, you were able to do that last season well because you also got was your first first class hundred as well. Take me back to that match versus Trinidad, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, what was that? What was that feeling out there like for you? Um, well, the feeling was was great. Um, and it, it always stayed close to my heart because in my first first class um century, um, it was a pretty good wicket to bat on, being honest. And um, I think that I capitalized on. On that, especially because once it's a good batting wicket and you make good use of it, it will get runs. Yeah, now take me back to even younger days for you. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go to 13 year old Savory. Um, yeah. yeah well, playing club cricket at DCC, hmm. which um, my coach, Gavinette, is from. Um, was just playing normal club cricket back home. And well, I never expect that playing for a class cricket. For me, I was just like playing cricket for fun and for the love of the game. But as years goes by, I get picked for the under 17 when I went to Tobago. I did pretty well there. And from there going on to under 19, it was even better. Yeah, so the fact that you said that you didn't think that you would be here at this level, what do you think like, your 13 year old self would tell you no? Um, just keep believing in yourself and anything is possible. Alrighty, so let's bring it forward now to this year, your second first class season. How do you say that it's gone for you so far? I think one half century in there. How how has it gone for you from a personal perspective? Um, not the way I wanted to, but having said that, I still have um a few games left. Well, this one for this round coming up against Winward. Um, I want to make the best of this opportunity against Winward coming up, so I don't have to play um any catch up cricket in the last two rounds. So I think that. This game against Winward will be key for me. Yeah, and then finally, obviously, you're here with the Ghana Harpy Eagles. You know, what is it like just playing cricket with those, you know, those boys? One, two, three, Eagles! Uh, I enjoyed every every moment of spending time with the guys. You know, I enjoyed. They're, they're, we're like family, man. We're like family, and even off the field is more fun. You know, like. For example, we had a few a day, few days rest, so I just went on the beach, do some jet skiing with Kevin Imlock, and it was great, man. 
I actually happen to see you guys on the beach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no problem, yeah, but yeah. yeah. Round number five coming up, as you mentioned, you want to do well in that one. So all the best for that and yeah, all the best you. for me in the season. Yeah, thank you very much. That's a wrap.